Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. I'm JP Woodstock from Oracle Reptiles. We're a private breeding facility situated on the east coast of South Africa in a city called Durban. What I'm going to do today is chat to you about the amazing eastern tiger snake, which is an indigenous species of snake we find here. In my opinion, tiger snakes are definitely one of the most beautiful species found in South Africa. The coloration varies from a bright orange to yellow, with between 23 and 35 black bands crossing the body, hence the name tiger snake. Adults average between 50 and 70 centimeters, and the females generally tend to be larger than males. They are rear fanged, however, the venom that they carry is of no consequence to humans. They are relatively widespread on the eastern part of South Africa, but they are not often seen as they are nocturnal and emerge in the evenings to hunt, especially on warm, humid nights. Eastern tiger snakes prey predominantly on lizards, especially tropical house geckos, which are very commonly found along the east coast of South Africa. They are also known to eat frogs, such as painted reed frogs, rodents, rats and mice, fledgling birds, chameleons and even bats. In captivity it's recommended that their diet is varied to avoid potential health hazards. Here at Oracle Reptiles we alternate between geckos and mice with our captives just for good measure. Hatchling tiger snakes are tiny and it may be required to feed pinky parts or parts of gecko tails for the first few feeds until they are large enough to move on to whole prey items. As I mentioned earlier, we like to alternate the diet for the tiger snakes that we keep here at Oracle. Here are a few videos of them eating tropical house geckos and a chick, the neck and head of a chick. I have sped the videos up for you because they can generally take quite a long time when they're not in a hurry. Tiger snakes are expert climbers, and a cage with some height is preferable. They particularly enjoy tight hiding spots, such as bark or stacked roof tiles. Just be careful to make sure that any decorations placed in the cage are secured, as injury can occur should a heavy decoration fall onto the animal. Optimally, heat should be provided from above with a basking spot of around 28 to 30 degrees for the daytime. This will allow the snake to thermoregulate and as snakes do not produce their own body heat and are reliant on external sources of heat. In South Africa, tiger snakes mate in early spring, which is September through to November. Females can lay one to two clutches in early summer of between five and 20 eggs. Just be sure to separate the male and female as they will continue to mate and lay eggs, which can be detrimental to the health of the female if left together. Females are also well known to lay fertile clutches for a few seasons, even if no longer with a male. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, we will happily answer them for you. And as always, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like the videos. Cheers.